YouTube Oz in the Goat House is back. And this year's Super Bowl is set Chiefs first Niners, but let's take a way too early look at next year's Super Bowl prediction favorites. We're going to talk about every single team. I'm going to place them into different tiers. So excited about this. We'll also take a look at some of our Twitter subscribers prediction at this way too early stage. So this should be a lot of fun. Join us for all of our coverage. We've got the off season content starting to roll out Twitter. We have coverage there as well. So, um, here we go. I got some tiers. My prediction, which will add teams that at the end, legit Super Bowl champ contenders. So teams that I think can actually win, like they're legit contenders to win the Super Bowl. Then we have a Super Bowl contenders tier. We have uh, a sneaky tier, so like sneaky contenders, dark horse. So there's some sort of chance, and then not quite yet. Um, all right, since I got my Vikings hoodie on, let's just put the Vikings up here. I'm kidding. Uh, Vikings are tough. Because, you know, Kirk Cousins is a free agent. Which route are they going to go? I mean, Daniel Hunter is a free agent. I, I kind of feel p comfortable putting in the dark. It's hard to see my team win the Super Bowl because I've never won a Super Bowl. Um, I don't want to say 0% chance because they are a talented team. Like, if they get Kirk Cousins back, if they stay in win-now mode. Um, and we could see it this year. If they didn't get completely beat up, they could have possibly contended for that division, even though the Lions went crazy this year. But the fight they put up with them, the two games – without Cousins and some other key guys. Um, yeah, you, obviously a pretty solid team if, if they're healthy, but off season, and I'll say this, off season, it's, it's way too early for every single team. It's, it's kind of a fun exercise here uh, to do, but we really need to see what teams do in the off season. The cuts, trades, free agency, the draft, uh, the rest of the coaching uh, carousel, you know, when it comes to not just head coaches, but uh, coordinators as well. So it's way too early for every team. The Vikings especially, I'd say, because they don't have a quarterback right now. So we'll put them in dark horse, which is um, you're saying there's a chance. Like, it's still kind of up in the air. Um, and the Falcons are next, and the Falcons are tough. I don't know if I'm in love with the Raheem Morris hire. It's a good defensive coach. Was that what they needed to improve the Falcons, like is it themselves? Um, but I have been saying they are a quarterback away from being a legit team because it's a really solid roster. So I'll, you know, I, I think less of a chance to the Vikings, but I'll put them in the dark horse category. And there's some sort of percentage. I'm not expecting these teams to hoist that trophy next year. I'd be shocked, but I'm not going to sit here and say 0% chance. And the Bears are next. The Bears could be weird because um, they're, the defense really stepped up last year. You know, really stepped up as the year went on. It's a, it could be a legit, you know, Eberflus is back, and that's his defense. They could be a legit defense next year. They have a lot of spending money. They have young players that continue to get better. They got good picks in the draft. The offense was getting a little bit better. When they played good teams, they would kind of stall out a little bit. Uh, but they get uh, a new offense coordinator. You think a better offense coordinator, Shane Waldron. They have the first overall pick. They have the ninth overall pick. If the Bears do the right thing and take that quarterback in the future, you know, they can be a sneaky team, but are they a sneaky Super Bowl team? I think year one for a rookie quarterback, pretty hard to say that, but the Bears are definitely heading in that right direction. The NFC North, we'll talk about those next two NFC North teams in a little bit, but that, that could be a damn good division. So the Bears are on their way. Like, okay, this time next year, could we talk about the Bears like here or even here? I think that's very possible, but too early. We're going to go not yet. Uh, the Bills... Um, they just can't get over that hump right now. You know that they can't. They can't do it. They have. It feels like they have a ceiling, uh, and it's not winning the Super Bowl. And that's tough. As good as Josh Allen is playing, they will get healthier on defense next year. Uh, so that's good. Uh, promoted just before this, they promoted their linebackers, coach, defense, corner. So how will that affect? I think the defense was called all right. It, 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 they were just so injured. You know, so that's that's a tough part. You know, safeties aging, you know, Micah Hyde's a free agent. That's tricky, and they can't get over that hump. You know, based on, you know, not, and I keep saying it, like every year I'm realizing, you know, for the most part, things stay the same, but not 100%. Things eventually change. Look at the lines, but look how long it took for that to change. And, well, they didn't even get to the Super Bowl, but so I honestly should be putting them there because they just, the AFC so tough, and they can't get over that hump, but. Just such a talented team. Um, you know, Josh Allen is in at the most important position in football is worthy of winning the Super Bowl and getting his team the Super Bowl. So I will put them in legit Super Bowl champ contenders. But I wonder next year, like, are they – I think by default because the defense gets healthier. But how healthy will it stay? You know, but I think by default that it should – they should be better. But 
Whereas, you know, Diggs almost looked like he took a step down this year. Hard to say he's declining, but where is this team going to be at? You know, what would the, they spend a lot of money. Like, will they be able to make moves to make the team better? Was that like their Super Bowl or bust year? So they're a little tricky. I'm like borderline here and there, but just how good they are at the quarterback position and how talented of a team they are, I feel like I, I want to put them there. The Cowboys... I have to. I have no choice but to put them in the sneaky category. I, I think Dark Horse would be too harsh. I uh, think they have a better percentage than the Vikings and Falcons around that range. And the Falcons were kind of like borderline here. But I am on record saying that's a damn good roster. Maybe a quarter, if they get a Kirk Cousins. We talk about the Vikings and Dark Horse. What if they get Kirk Cousins? You know, I wish they would have hired Bill Belichick or maybe he didn't want to go there. But the Cowboys, it's impossible to predict them to – win in the playoffs. Uh, I think there's some scenario where they can do that, but, and they're on paper, they're talented enough. Remember they'll get Trevon Diggs back next year. Maybe they'll try to fix that run defense. Um, it's hard right now to say they're Super Bowl contenders. Uh, I, it's just after this year, I was, I'm like, they're, can I pick them to win a playoff game? I'm sure they can, but they got to win playoff game after playoff game against the best of the best and get to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl, it's it's hard to see right now. You hate to say it, but so I think they're just a sneaky. Like if they were to go on a run, like it'd be sneaky Cowboys. Uh, Broncos, I think not yet. They're going to look for the quarterback of the future. They played better as the year went on. I, I just, I, I not yet, uh, you know, for me there. Uh, the Browns, man, they, they were good this year. They won a lot of games. They made the playoffs, and that was with a, the maybe the most injured team in football. Um, so you think Deshaun Watson coming back, another year in that offense. You know, the they got star players throughout this team. Um, so they're, they're sneaky Super Bowl. You know, the, how are they in the playoffs? So the defense was so good all year that they, they were not that great in the playoffs. They weren't great away. It's a good defense. I think it's a predictable defense, though. So how much change will that be? Will Watson stay healthy? Can I trust this team to be durable enough? I think we got to keep them that sneaky Super Bowl. So they are contenders, but in a sneaky way, in my opinion. I expect the Cowboys-Browns to be a good team next year. The Buccaneers are tough because I think this is a good shot if they get Baker back, which I, I think they would. I think they're a, a good, like, they're safe pick to be a pretty solid team. And they can make the playoffs. They, they won a playoff game. They put up a fight with the Lions, uh, at least. So, like, if this was a playoff contenders list, we're just talking Super Bowl. This is a playoff contenders list. They might be higher up, depending on the tiers. I, it's Bucks fans aren't going to like this, but I just do not see them winning the Super Bowl. Like, I, I think they're a team that definitely has a ceiling, like a cap, a limit. I just do not see this team winning the Super Bowl. They lost, lost Canellas, which that was a big part of Baker getting better. And I think Baker could be solid again. The offensive line, you know, they, they were a little fortunate wins. The offensive line played better than expected. Defense is a lot of key free agents. Of course, they can get them back. Is Levante David near retiring? I think they can be a really solid team. So me putting them in the tier with the Bears and the Broncos doesn't mean they're on the same level as them. But in terms of a Super Bowl, I, I, I'm sorry. Well, we'll see what the offseason happens. Like, what if they just stacked their team in the offseason? Then, yes, I, I could see them winning it. But I just don't see them actually, like, I, I don't see them winning it. Cardinals, they got a bright future. I'm going to say, they're actually tough because Kyler Murray, a full year. I think Jonathan Gannon's a hell of a defensive coach, and he didn't really have the talent. He can go out and get the talent this year. They can draft more pieces. Uh, they can be a sneaky team, like the Bears. I think like the Bears, they can be a sneaky team on the season. Like, if it's, play, you know, I think there's the Bears and the Cardinals are in the same boat. I think those are like sneaky playoff teams. But in terms of Super Bowl, that's all we're talking about right now. Winning the Super Bowl, I'm going to say not yet. Maybe, you know, again, I think I compare them to the Bears. I think a year from now when we do this video, I think we could be talking about them like right here. I really do. But uh, sneaky playoff teams right there. The Bengals, uh, I predicted them to go this year. That didn't happen. They got extremely beat up. We saw even while they were beat up. They um they were competitive. They were very solid, and that's without their star quarterback. Um, they're they're that's a, when healthy on both sides of the ball. It's a Super Bowl team, you know. I think the offense line durability and offensive line is really the question. I think the offensive line should be able to get better. They actually have spending money, uh, but they do have to spend some on T. Higgins. They have, they probably want some to roll over for future when they have to pay Jamar Chase and other players. Uh, but this year's cap space. 
doesn't really play a major factor on future cap space, but do they want to have some left over to roll over? And so in that way it does. But um, it's just my only question with them really is durability, but I'm going to put them here at legit Super Bowl champs. I'm going to, I'm going to say, you know, hopefully they stay healthy here. Uh, the Colts, um, they won more games than expected this year. I think things went their way during the year. So I think expecting that many wins or more wins could be um, bold because they are young. They could get better, but Anthony Richardson still in the developmental stage. Um, tougher schedule. They're, yeah, they're pretty favorable schedule. I, I just don't, I don't know. Uh, I, I just think not yet. I think with Shane Steichen, I think they're heading in the right direction. I just think not yet. Eagles, man, on paper, the Eagles are Super Bowl contenders. The way they ended, on paper, they're legit Super Bowl champ contenders. The way they ended was not great. There was a lot of teams, a handful of teams sitting at home that you may view as not so good of teams that they were better than the Eagles. So, that's not great. I, I think it's safe to say that we better next year. I can't guarantee that. Uh, changes at the coordinator positions, obviously that's great because it was awful last year. But, you know, there's some guys in our team that aren't really – there's some guys that are on their way out on both sides of the ball. Uh, Kelsey retiring. And, again, I think they'd be better than last year, but they got to be a whole lot better to get here, I think. So I'll put them in the Super Bowl contenders category uh, because that's how they look on paper, at least. So it's hard to put them in sneaky because they're too damn talented. Um, Cowboys are too damn talented, too, but they just consistently choke in the playoffs. Giants, I'm going to say not yet. I uh, think they could be better than they were last year. Uh, Seahawks, let's see who they hire at coach. I think Mike McDonald would be um, – uh, a good target, a realistic target, and a very uh, probably the A plus higher. Uh, well, maybe I won't grade an A plus, but for them, like what's the best case scenario? I think them, him. I, it's hard to see Geno Smith winning a Super Bowl, but it's a pretty talented team, and he can get the young defense really going. Uh, I think with a, we put them in the same category as the Vikings. I think they're around the same range there. Uh, the Jags, the Jags are tricky for me because. Um, I think what most people would do, kind of predicting what most people would do, I think they would put him in the dark horse. I think maybe some people would put him in the sneaky category. I think people are thinking too much on this year. Trevor Lawrence being disappointed, them choking against the Titans, uh, you know, them just not making the playoffs, and they had higher hopes. Uh, I think don't wait, don't put too much stock into that. They were, they were close to being a great team. I mean, there was, it was Trevor Lawrence was close to being having a having a great year, even though he's a disappointing year. I mean, just throws that were missed by this much, or some drops, or um, you know. And I hated the way their defense was coached, and they got rid of Caldwell. They brought in Ryan Nielsen, who I think is a really good defensive coach. What he did with the Falcons, and uh, I think there's some really good fits on that Jaguars defense. They do have to get Josh Allen back, but I think he can get a lot. Uh, he can get a lot on those uh, out of those players. They may value the free safety position a little bit more. Uh, but I think they're, you know, I trust Doug Peterson, so I think the Jags are going to be good. I think Trevor Lawrence should should click in. There's some in the back of our mind. It's like. All right, what's going on with Trevor Lawrence? But I, I, I'm i confident he'll click into gear here. So uh, this is a team to watch out for. Um, I am I have to put him in sneaky for now. But I'm pretty close to putting him here. Ah, that's a tough one. I think they're going to be better than what people would think right now. Um, they got to get Calvin Ridley back. They got to get Josh Allen back. I need to see this offseason. We're going to put him in sneaky for now. But I'd actually put him on the higher end. I, these didn't... Um, what am I clicking on here? These didn't be this. These weren't meant to be put in order. Um, I you know the teams, the tiers are, uh, but the Jags. I I think people might be sleeping on a little bit when it comes to this. The Jets. They have a great defense. Um, it's great. I don't want to say it's elite though. I think at times it could look like that, but I think teams. Uh, hit the brakes a little bit against them and roll the clock because they know their offense can't do much. Um, so that assists the defense in the statistical category, but they're still a great defense. Uh, often, you know, what does Aaron Rodgers have left in the tank? How is he after the injury? That's a tough part. I I think they'll go all out in the off season, though. I think they'll be like, all right, this is it. Like, Salah's gonna be like, this this is it. Like, we got to go all in Super Bowl or bust. Um, I'm gonna put them in sneaky. I I think it's a little too much to put them in Super Bowl contenders because where's Rodgers at in his career? Where's he at after that injury? Um, the uh, sneaky is the right category. They're sneaky, you know. That's where they're at. Uh, obviously, the Chiefs will put up here. Uh, it's interesting though because Chris Jones, the whole Chris Jones thing. He's a free agent. Is he going to be gone? Um, 
some talk about Travis Kelsey retiring after this year. We'll see what happens there. So there are some questions, but I would imagine they go out and make the receiver group better or get somebody else along with Rasheed Rice. But if they're missing Kelsey, that's a major loss. You can look what he's doing in the playoffs. If they lose Chris Jones, it's a major hit to the defensive line because he gets doubled, he gets tripled. Uh, but they got Pat. They have the best in football. They have the you know Patrick Mahomes. They have Andy Reid. You know they're for sure legit Super Bowl contenders. Uh, Chargers get Harbaugh. They have they have they have Justin Herbert. That that's big. They have talented players. There's still holes throughout this roster. They also are in a major hole in terms of cap space. To get out of that hole, they may have to make some tough decisions with veterans like Keenan Allen, Khalil Mack. They don't have to cut all of them or really any of them, but um, that's a tough part. So Herbert, Harbaugh, some talented players. I almost want to go sneaky, but they're in a little bit of a hole. I think it's might going to take. I think they're in the same category. A team like the Vikings, Seahawks. Put them dark horse, but probably closer to being sneaky than those two teams. Definitely more than the Falcons. Lions are tricky. So just before I go to record this, Ben Johnson decided to come back, and that was surprising to me. Last year was a little surprising. This year, very surprising. Lions are tricky because I uh, really what? Well, first off, what's the positive here? Ben Johnson came back. It's a good team. Brad Holmes drafts very, very well. They're continuing to add young talent to players that are very solid. Um, they have young talented players that are continuing to develop, so you get better by default, sort of. Um, they have a good amount of cap space to work with. Those are the positives on why they are, once again, towards the top and have a shot to maybe do more next year. The negative, the downside, I guess the argument against that, Dan Campbell said it. He said, we may not have another shot at this, which I don't like that he said that, and it's going to be twice as hard to get back next year. And there's a reason he did say that. Uh, multiple reasons, actually. It's... Well, maybe he thought they were going to lose Ben Johnson. That that was a part of it. I was actually going to put them. Well, well, well I'll continue to discuss what I'm discussing here. Um, but that's big. They got Ben Johnson back. But things kind of went the Lions' way this year. Like they kind of got by on some of these games, some clutch plays, some things that will this repeat itself next year? Um, you know, you look at and that NFC North's getting better. The Packers were really bad at, at one point. The Packers looked. We'll talk about them. They look legit. The Vikings were really beat up this year. The Bears are going to get better. Not that I'm saying the Bears are going to be better than the Lions uh, necessarily, or maybe the Vikings probably won't be either, but I guess it depends on the whole offseason there. But, um, and, you know, so thing, you know, look at the Rams game. They barely skate by. Things really went their way with the calls at the end of that game. So I think that's why Campbell said it. Like things kind of went in golf. Golf was at his ceiling. He played great. That He's at his ceiling. Is he going to play any better? No. Could he play the same? Sure. So it's in next year. I think it, they could actually maybe not get that far, but then the future kind of get further. But Ben Johnson coming back is huge. Um, I almost was going to put him in sneaky because I do think they had kind of a ceiling. I think that NFC Championship game was kind of their ceiling because again, the, and the schedule is going to be tougher next year too. I'll put them Super Bowl contenders though. I don't. I I'm not ready to call them legit. Um, because the things need to happen like they did last year and some. You know, and they had like the best opportunity. Like, they were fortunate the Niners were not on their game in the first half, and they were on their best possible game, and they still didn't win the game. So it felt, it feels like a team with the ceiling, and those other teams with the ceiling, I'm kind of like here, here. But they continue to add really talented players uh, and develop these really young, talented players. Um, you know, and then now they have the experience. So I, I definitely put them there. I, I, I just don't feel comfortable putting them at the top tier yet. Uh, the Niners, we got to throw, throw up here. Um, I mean, they honestly didn't play their best ball and they're still in the Super Bowl. Um, you know, so that, that's pretty crazy. Um, well, it's not super crazy, but cause the NFC, the NFC felt kind of weak this year. It's like, uh, you got the inexperienced lions and, and they're great. Uh, but I think the Rams were pretty good. The Lions and the Rams had to play each other, but they they were lacking defense. You know, the Eagles were bad going into the playoffs. I mean, the Bucks went to the. That was kind of something that happened to the Lions, too. You got to play the Bucks in the second round. Um, you know, so, uh, but the, the Niners, things kind of didn't go their way, and they still were able to get uh, to the Super Bowl. Very talented team on both sides of the ball. Brock Purdy only getting better. I don't think I have to explain too much why they're there. Saints, I think they'll be better than last year. I thought they'd be better than the year before this year, that they would make the playoffs this year. They didn't do that. Um, I, I They could be a good team, but just for Super Bowl, it's just not yet. Uh, the Packers. They got really good at the end of the year. They got really good. They had a uh, uh, a struggle portion of the season. It didn't last too long. 
Um, you know, but they, they are so well coached in the playoffs. I even think Joe Barry did a good job in the playoffs. They got rid of him. Obviously, he just did a poor job in the regular season. The defense kind of continued to be underwhelming compared to how they looked on paper. Um, so I guess the right move there. But I thought he did coach well in the playoffs. But LaFleur coached great. The players play great. Jordan Love's getting better and better. They have young receivers that are solid. The young offensive line looks good. The running game looks good. Defense, they have pass rush. They need to stop the run a little bit better. They need safeties. The corners are there on paper. Um, they don't have a lot of cap. That's a tough spot. They don't. The tough part. They don't have a lot of cap space. I'm sure they can clear some. Um, I kind of got a gut feeling about this team. Um you know, where they're heading. I think it's, again, we're we're not basing this off this year, but even if we did, uh, the Packers were good. This is kind of like bold predictions for the future. I'm going to put the Packers up here. I think it might be the team to beat this up. That man, the Lions, I and mean, the NFC North could be really freaking good, but I actually think the Packers might have been better at the Lions at the end of the year there. That uh, Both teams probably outplayed the Niners, to be honest. Um, the Packers got really good. What they did at the Cowboys the last time they played the Lions, what they did to the Vikings at the end of the year. Um, you know, they, I don't know what happened against, you know, the, the giants or the Panthers, they beat the Panthers, the bucks, but I think this team's heading in the right direction. I think they're so well coached, especially on, you know, with their head coach, the floor and an offense is a team to watch for next year. So I'm actually going to, I'm going to, I'm going to put them up there. I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I and mean, it's a little bold Panthers. Not yet. I like to hire Dave Canales Patriots. Not yet. Um, dolphins, are they made for the playoffs or for the super bowl? Regular season, they were good, but that was playing below 500 teams. Uh, they could not beat the good teams. It's going to be a much tougher schedule this year. Um, they're going to have to beat some. I, I can't put them any higher than Sneaky. Of course, they were really beat up going into the playoffs, but mainly on defense, their offense just could not get the job done against the Chiefs. Not even close. Can they play in playoff weather? Uh, I just uh, they feel like a regular, se- a regular season potential juggernaut that possibly can make some noise in the playoffs. We'll see what they do in the offseason, but that's as high as I can put them. Um, Steelers, they actually hired Arthur Smith earlier today. And I actually, uh, probably an uncommon take. People just don't like Arthur Smith, I guess, because the Falcons couldn't get the job done. Um, yeah, he didn't get the job done as a head coach. He, I think he called it a good off. I think people look too much into, uh, Bijan's number of carries, but he wasn't always playing great while Algier was playing better. Sometimes the hot hand. Um, I think Arthur Smith's a good offense quarter. I think it's a good hire. Um, I still think Dark Horse could be a little sneaky, couldn't finally win playoff games, make a run in the playoffs. But I just, in terms of winning a Super Bowl, I think Dark Horse, but I think they could be better next year. Raiders, um, they're kind of tough because they have talent. Like, they have talent at receiver. They have one of the best in football, Max Crosby. I mean, Patrick Graham calls a really good defense. They were a really good team under Antonio Pierce second half of the year. They need a quarterback. Obviously, I'm not going to... Ah, I, they're actually tough. Like I'm, I gotta put that. My plan was to put them here, but if they, I don't ever spend big at quarterback. I think it's gonna be a young quarterback. I just think not yet for them. Uh, Rams, I'm gonna put Super Bowl contenders. Matt Stafford played way better than I thought he'd play. Like I know the talent was in there, but coming off some injuries and uh, even getting a little banged up this year, like he played great. Kyron Williams played great. The offensive lineman played very well. The receivers, you know, Puka Nakua, Sean McVay is great. Um, defense, they did lose Raheem Morris. Uh, the defense played better than expected during the regular season. Not so well in the playoffs, but they were one point away and they got some call. They got screwed on some calls from winning that game. And who knows what could have happened? Uh, they, they, they honestly could be going to the Super Bowl. Not saying that'd be my pick, but, um, so I'd imagine they go out and actually try to get better with additions this year. Unlike last year. Um, and I don't see any reason why Matt Stafford can't play as good as he did last year. The durability is kind of the concern. So I'm going to put them Super Bowl contenders. Um, I almost want to put them up here, but they, they do have to get a lot more talent on defense, and they did lose Raheem Morris and durability issues with Stafford and, and other players. So I'm going to – I feel more comfortable with them there. The Ravens, how dominant they are in the regular season, how far they got. They look like legit Super Bowl contenders, but this is a team with a ceiling, unfortunately. Lamar Jackson's a great player, MVP caliber player, but his passing – needs to be when playing in the AFC when competing against jo- uh, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, uh it needs to be a, it needs to be great. And it doesn't need to be elite, but it needs to be great. And uh they just have not been able to get over the hump and they might lose McDonald's. It's as good as the defense as healthy as they're going to be. 
that this was their this was supposed to be the year. Of course, they can make the team better, but I think they have a ceiling. So I actually can't put them up here. I think this is a uh, a juggernaut for the regular season and a legit playoff team, a legit threat in the playoffs. But I I just I can't I can't say it's a high percentage, a uh, high enough percentage that I see them hoisting that trophy. And I actually said that this year too, as good as they were, and people gave me shit earlier in the year. But I'm like there, there's teams that they are better than. It, may, it almost sounds like it makes no sense at first. There are teams that the Ravens are better than that I have. A, I see with a better shot of hoisting that trophy. I mean, they beat the shit out of the Niners. The Niners have a better shot, obviously, because um, the regular season, the playoffs here. Regular season's different. And the playoffs and regular season are different. And then getting and winning the Super Bowl are different things as well. There's different tiers. So that's where I think the Ravens are at. I almost, because I, I don't know if I fully trust them. They're so good and so well coached, though. So that's where I want to put them. Commanders, not yet. Have potential for a great offseason. Well, let's get the Titans. Titans, not yet. They have potential for a great offseason. Texans, uh, that's a tough one, too. Um... Because I'm a big C.J. Stroud guy. He was great this year. He's going to get even better. That's scary. He's a smart, great, talented quarterback. Uh, offensive line played well. Receivers played well. They didn't even have Tank Dell in the playoffs. And they actually could afford to get better at receiver. I think they will. Um, Let's we'll see what they decide at tight end with Dalton Schultz. They, they actually could get better from that. Like a cheaper and better at the same time. Possibly. I would like for them to look through the draft for that. Uh, I think they could add a running back. They have cap space for all this. Defense linebacker interior get Grenard back I mean D'Amico Ryan's knows how to call defense especially in the playoffs he was throwing uh, throwing off the the Browns with the game plan he, there he's great so it's a really good team that with a bright bright future uh, this is tough for me though uh, because is it too soon are they going to have those hiccups still that second half of that Ravens game they look like they almost didn't belong. It's like, like, okay, this is the young team that's like, they just were not ready for this moment. But maybe they're prepared from that based off last year. Um, this one's tough. I think people will probably call them sneaky or suit roll contenders. I'm deciding between these two, to be honest. Um, I think they could have a really good offseason. Let's do it. Let's put them up there. Legit Super Bowl contenders. I, it's kind. Of, I had to go bold. It's way too early. We got to go a little bold. Um, but the Packers, Texans, maybe most people would put them down. They think it's a little bold. I put them up. We'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. I think those teams got a lot of potential. Um, and then my prediction, what I was feeling here. I mean, the, the NFC isn't. NFC North is strong. The NFC in general for like who is going to win the Super Bowl isn't overly dominant here. Um, so I only have, do I only have two at the top? In the line, the Rams have a great offseason. The Lions, I just have a feeling that things really aren't going to go like things went their way so much, like bounced their way so much this year that usually there's like a hangover year. Uh, and then I think the year after, I think we'll be talking about maybe I'll be pretty good to get the Super Bowl because I love the way Brad Holmes drafts. Um, so I just kind of have a feeling on that. Uh, but they're kind of with the the Niners and the Packers. What my prediction? Um, the Rams, the Eagles, um, Packers should have had the Niners this year when they really should not even be close. Um, you know, and I LaFleur, I, I think he should win coach of the year. Um, uh, it's, it's, I'm doing it. It's bold. It's very bold. Meanwhile, I'm wearing my Vikings hoodie. This is weird. Uh, but it's bold. And I'll say it's bold because it might be more bold than people think because, Jordan Love, like he could still have his hiccup. Like that throw to end that divisional round game, that was brutal. Like what was he doing? What was he thinking? What was he doing? And he had throws like that this year that he kind of got away with. Not quite that bad, but he loves throwing off the back foot. And boy, does it look good. It looks really good when, when it works, even when he just lets it go. But there's times like the Chiefs games throwing up for grabs or some other games like yeah, some of those are turnover worthy throws that he probably like they could turn into turnovers, but he's still not a turnover prone guy. He's a big play guy that's very smart that clearly got like rapid improvement. Um rapid improvement. He's got guys around him getting better. He's got a great coach. Uh the defense has potential to be better. It should be better. And I thought it played pretty well in the playoffs. They got a I think safety something to stop the run. I think it would be more so linebacker kicker. Um, and that's really it. That's really it there. Um, give me the Packers, the little bold. And then for the AFC team, I do think the AFC team will host the ho ho hoist the trophy. 
Um, because they're just better teams, and maybe the Packers really aren't fully there. And they, they're a team that can't really get over the hump since the one year they won either. Um, so I'm going to have them – it's a way too early a prediction to even predict a winner, but I'm, I'm leaning towards the AFC team. Uh, I really want Josh Allen to go in a Super Bowl. I think that guy was deserving this year if they weren't so beat up on defense. Um, Diggs was off. Is he declining? The offensive line played better than past years in the playoffs. Is it going to be that good again? Is it going to be better? That would be great. Um Where's the durability at for defense? How the defense be called or uh, new three years straight with a new defensive caller? It was Frazier McDermott. Now their linebackers coach. Uh, you know, where's the durability at? They lose Micah Hyde. You know, uh, aging safeties. They can't get over that hump. The Bengals. Do I trust them to stay healthy? That was my pick this year, and I was very confident about it. When I'm very confident about Super Bowl picks, I'm usually right. But they got Joe Burrow got injured. Uh, he had an injury his first year. He's got an injury now. I think he was he was dealing with multiple things this year. So that's a legitimate excuse. Um, and they were good even without him. As I think Zach. I, I think Zach. I'm higher on Zach Taylor than probably anybody. I think the offense line should get better. They have cap space. Of course, they're not going to go out and spend crazy money. They maybe will on their own guys. Um, can I trust them to say durable? What we're learning about Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs every year is that Patrick Mahomes can go get the job done. He's the best by far. There's no debate. If you think someone else is better in football, you are wrong. Plain and simple. So he's going to go, him and Andy Reid are going to keep doing it again and again. But uh, uh, a couple things. Is Kelsey going to retire? I don't think so. But are they going to lose Chris Jones? That's pretty huge. Uh, they're so well coached, though. They probably go out and get better at receiver because they maybe learn their lesson there based on the regular season. Um, could they possibly go again and again and again? Um, and then the Texans, man, I think it's a little early to send the Texans to the Super Bowl. Uh, I almost put them a tear down because they could have a hiccup here in the playoff uh, in the playoffs because they're so young, but they are scary. Like if we're looking like long, like who are the best teams in the long term future? We'll make a tear about that. I'm gonna I gotta go with my Bengals. They got. It's hard to trust them to stay healthy, honestly, right now. Be, uh, Burrow because he had he had an injury, like multiple different injuries from his rookie year, and then a couple this year, even before the season started. Uh, that's a damn good football team, a well coached football team. Um, they they can beat you in multiple different ways. I think that defense is coached more so for the playoffs as well. I think it's better in the. I know it's better in the playoffs. Uh, they have pass rushers. They have everything. So. Um, Weird prediction, maybe Packers and Bengals. And I was going to make a tier like um, add a row above like the future. I mean, honestly, this might be tough to do because uh, how did I end up getting another new one? Oh, I got rid of my prediction. That was my prediction. Okay. My prediction. All right. And then future. The future. Um, so like teams of the future that I'm scared, like who you should be scared of the future. I put the Packers up there. I put the Texans up there. And of course, if Burrow stays healthy, Mahomes, Josh Allen, these guys are probably up there. But I'm talking about like the young, the the scary, scary teams of the future here. Um, and you almost could, like, I mean, what Harbaugh can do with Justin Herbert's pretty scary, but I'm thinking even younger. Um, again, I put the Bears in the Carlos same category, but can Kyler Murray, like, get that high? Like, if the Bears do the right thing in the um, – it's too early to say this because they have to do the right thing, but I'm, I'm almost kind of – that's three NFC North teams. That's pain for my Vikings, but maybe they can make some noise this offseason as well. They finally have some cap space. Uh, too early to say that, but though, like if we're talking about future, future, like if – the tough part is Jared Goff, though, with the Lions. The tough part – the tough part like – maybe they're here for the – you know, because he's not going to get any better. Like I think he's at a ceiling this year. Can they find that quarterback future? I definitely trust that they can judge, evaluate the quarterback of the future. Um, will they be able to get their hands on him? But they draft so well that I want to put them at that top tier. Um, but, I, yeah, my prediction would kind of putting them down here, like around this range. I could put them here. Again, I, like almost like a hangover type year, but still great. Could definitely still win the NFC North. Just kind of a feeling. Kind of, and Cam will kind of set it, even though I didn't love him saying that. Like that might have been our only shot. I don't think – I disagree with that. That's not going to be their only shot, but uh, it's going to be twice as hard next year. I, like there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. Like 
it's just such an interesting year for them. And I almost feel like they got they got far because they're good, they're talented, they're well coached. The coaching the in the in the last game was terrible. Uh decision situational coaching, the decision making there, but um but I, they kind of got past their ceiling this year. Um, so I think two years, I think, Super Bowl. There's kind of a gut feeling. But but they actually have some spending money in the offseason. Like if they go get like a Chris Jones and a um, some corners in, you know, in, you know, in, in free agency and, you know, then, then we're talking. I'd bump them up a little bit. But um, so that's kind of where I'm at with them. It's kind of like a, I had some gut predictions here and there. Um, but that's what I had. Oh, I wanted to take a look at. So I tweeted out um, for our Twitter subscribers. Uh, way too early Super Bowl predictions. Anthony Kramer said, uh, "Go both. It's way too early." And that's kind of what we did too. Packers Texans. Now at that time, like I'm, I put that as my future teams. Like I'm like it's bold, but I'm considering it too. So I thought that was a really good one. Bills Lions for Aiden Weingartner. Um, yeah, it's a solid. I mean, definitely possible. Um, it's a good point by Sam Taylor. I mean, it's just way too early to predict because. Cuts, trades, free agency, surprises, drafts. It changes everything. So it is it is way too early for a reason. Reason. Lions, Jets, pretty bold with the Jets. Uh, but we know they could be definitely talented enough. Uh if Rogers stays healthy. Bengals, Eagles could see that. If the Eagles get back on track there, which they should be better than last year. Rams, Ravens, you have the Rams go out and add defensive players, um, uh, better defensive players and Hey, they have a first round pick. And if Stafford stays healthy, I could definitely see the Rams. Ravens, I could see them getting there. I there's a team that like I can't really pick to win the Super Bowl. Niners, Bengals, it's a, it's a good prediction. Uh obviously I think it's a, a likely prediction. And Texans, Rams. Um, we talked about I can see the Texans and again if the Rams, Stafford stays healthy and they go out and actually add better defensive players, which I expect them to. Uh, then we could be talking about the Rams. And the Rams had a shot this year. And they kind of got screwed in that. Division. They lost by one. They kind of got screwed, but the defense didn't play well enough. They didn't really execute fully in the red zone. Uh, but if they would have won that game, I, I think we would have got a Niners-Rams um, NFC Championship game, and who knows what would have happened in that one. Um, uh, and we could be talking about Rams versus Chiefs right now. That's possible. It's actually possible. So, And they didn't really have the talent as they used to, like on paper. Um, so I like seeing the different predictions there, some similarities to mine. But got to get bold with this one. It's that type of video. Let me know your guys' thoughts. Like, if you had to pick two teams, uh, let me know your guys' thoughts uh, down in the comments. Always talking with you guys on Twitter. We got off-season content rolling out. We have, our, we have an awards live stream coming up. We usually do it this week, every year. It'll be a lot of fun just to chat with you guys. Got the other guys on. But turn notifications on so you're ready for that. Uh, and then Super Bowl predictions next week. It's going to do it, though, for this one. Where's my end screen? There's my end screen. Um, check out those recent videos popping up on your screen right now. But that is going to do it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.